That's right. And her father, the Rashi, is a wonderful man. He really is the father every girl would like. Um, and her mother, Rivka, is a little harder. Rashi's personality, I think I really describe it how he was. Um, part of the pleasure I had writing these books was reading of Rashi's works. And certainly, I think for the Middle Ages, he was a feminist. He was very strong on, um, on women being able to study and to, to go to the synagogue and to do many of the men's um, activities that other rabbis didn't allow women to do. Because Miriam, in the beginning and throughout the book, is a midwife. Yes. And then she teaches herself to become a moil, a man who, a uh, religious person who does a circumcision. That was the really fascinating research doing that. When I'd, I'd done research and learned that women in Rashi's times did circumcisions, there were some women who did that. And I had already made Miriam a midwife in book one, and I thought, oh, this is perfect. Who's the logical woman who would be doing a circumcision? It would be the midwife. She's already used to crying babies and blood. And so then I had to find some, some moils who could tell me how did they learn to do this? How, how does one train to, yeah. uh, to do ritual circumcisions? And that was really quite fascinating. They were thrilled to teach me and tell me about it, because I don't think anyone ever asked them, <laughs> <laughs> what, you know, how do you do yeah. this? And uh, some of them had trained in Israel, and they knew the old ways that had been done in Rashi's time. And I think my readers will, uh, yeah. well, certainly by the end yeah. of the book, they will know how to do a circumcision. Right. 